Hello Aries, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to be looking at how your person is thinking or feeling about you at this time, the person you're currently in a connection with or are thinking about. So let's jump right in for Aries, Spirit Angels Guides. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about how this person is thinking, feeling about Aries at this time? As always, these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Aries watching. So take that into consideration when you watch this reading. Also check out your other placements. Sometimes those can resonate more for you. What is this person thinking or feeling about Aries? What are they thinking, feeling about Aries? Okay, we have the path I am on is leading me straight to you. And I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. Okay. So someone's missing you, Aries, which I feel has been a running theme for Aries <laughs> lately anyway. Check out your playlist. All the playlists for each sign are linked in the description box. <laughs> Excuse me. So I feel like there's someone that's thinking about you, missing you, Aries, and hoping to meet you. Uh, I'm thinking of someone that's like waiting at the end of a path. So almost like hoping you show up. What else? What else is this person thinking, feeling? What do we need to know about their energies towards Aries? Hidden motives. Someone's hiding their true motives, deception, secrets, avoidance, true love. We get one more. It's like they're hiding their feelings for you. Happy ending. I feel like this person is hiding their true feelings. I don't know why, but they are. Despite the fact that you have um it's almost like you have taken over in a way their thoughts, their mind, you know, what they're thinking about, you know, it, it somehow has something to do with you all the time. What else do you need to know? By the way, these are all of my own decks. So if you're curious about them, you can check them out at the link in the description box. What else? What else do we need to know? about this person's thoughts, energies. What do we need to know? My heart belongs to you. Yeah. What else do we need to know about this person's energies? I wasn't honest with you. Yeah, this person, I feel like um, maybe they never really truly told you how they felt or kept their feelings hidden for whatever reason. So let's look into the tarot. What do we need to know, spirit? Or Aries. Oops, what's that? What do we need to know? For Aries. What is this person thinking, feeling? What are their energies, intentions, actions going to be towards Aries? So the top energies are going to be for how they're thinking, feeling about you, and the bottom energies are their intentions, actions towards you. Potential actions, I guess I should say. Because um, the tarot can only really tell you what someone intends to do. Okay, so in the top we have Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Moon, Pisces Energy. Hmm. The Moon and the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like this person has no idea how you feel or how this is going to play out which tells me they you probably haven't talked about this with this person maybe this is all on their side right like they're the ones thinking about this i think they view you as a nine of pentacles it's at the bottom oh jesus king of swords reverse eight of swords four of swords reverse okay so it's not all bad <laughs> um I feel like this is somebody that is, you know, they're thinking a lot about you, Eight of Swords. But when it comes time to like act, they're stuck. Now the Four of Swords Reverse tells me they might become unstuck, you know? Uh, there's that possibility that they might um, be able to 
take action here, but the King of Swords Reverse is telling me that perhaps they're not ready to talk. They're thinking about you, but maybe they're not ready to fully talk. Oh, interesting. The chariot at the bottom of the deck. So this is Cancer Energy movement, moving forward, moving quickly with the chariot. I feel like this is what someone wishes they could do or this is what they're hoping they'll be able to do. The action they hope to take. But the Eight of Swords is here, which tells me I don't think this person has figured out how to really approach you here. Let's get some energy, some clarifiers for Aries. Some clarity, please. Okay. Try that again. Get some clarity, please, for Aries. Get some clarity. Just need to know. Just Aries. Need to know. The Seven of Pentacles is like they're wondering about the future. How will this play out? So for some reason, when they think about you, they think about obviously the future, but how it's almost like they're in the dark about success. You know, they have no idea. So th that tells me that if they were to talk to you, Aries, if they were to reveal their feelings for you, um, you could very well reject this person. And this is what they're thinking about. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? The Empress and the Emperor. Wow. Divine counterparts. Aries energy. There you are with the Emperor. So this person, yeah, they're thinking about, you know, in their mind, you two fit together. You two go together. There is a partner, a true partnership here. Ten of Wands. But this also is telling me that when it comes time to, to take action for this Emperor to take action, uh, with their empress they have no idea what to do tell me more about the moon why is the moon here yep five of pentacles are out in the cold um i don't think this person has had contact with you in some time tell me about the nine of pentacles they see you as someone very free that's the um, word I got, free, almost like a free bird. Yeah, and they want something with you, Ace of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the tower, and then the High Priestess. So yeah, for the, for this Ace of Wands to happen, um, I feel like they would have to open up, be vulnerable. Can I get one more for this Nine of Pentacles? They would also possibly, I mean, I don't know if they're single or not, but they would need to be single. They would need to be free, free as free as you are. Yeah, the moon again. This person has no idea. And then there's the chariot at the bottom of the deck again. Pisces energy. They have no idea how you would react. I know they've lost you because you have, I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. So they've lost you, but your heart, their, your heart, their heart belongs to you. <laughs> it's just, do you feel the same way? Would you be able to move forward? They have doubts. They're not sure. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. When they think about you, they think about the future. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, Two of, <laughs> two of Cups. I mean, there's no other way. To really like interpret this it's it's the same energy partners 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 might be a soulmate energy here yeah three of cups coming together with their partner there's a page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck this is very clear energy so why is the king of swords reversed when it comes time to you know take action or what their next actions could be i have the king of swords reverse first card out Tell me about the King of Swords reverse. Why is the King of Swords reverse here? Oh my God, that's way too many. Oh wow, Justice, first card out here. Libra energy, Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles again. 
they yeah they want to make things right but i don't think that they're ready to talk queen of swords at the bottom of the deck maybe they need to come clean about something maybe they would need to come to you with their tail between their legs tell me about the eight of swords wow the devil capricorn energy they're thinking about you a lot aries almost like in an obsessive way um which tells me it is not that they have to be obsessed with you but it's like their thoughts constantly wander back to you tell me about the four of swords reverse why is the four of swords reverse yep page of swords they're gonna need to break the ice they're gonna need to talk and I think they're the ones that need to initiate. Yeah, Ace of Cups. They're the ones that needs, need to initiate here. It's like they would have to come in, yeah, and make things right. Something happened between you that makes this person hesitate. Maybe it's the way things ended. Maybe they weren't honest with you, outright lied to you, weren't ready to commit to you. You might have caught this person in a lie at one point or realized they weren't who they said they were. And so it's going to take a very brave person to come forward after all that. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? I wish things could be different. Yeah. Very clear energy here. Um, tell me about their intentions. Tell me about their genuine intentions when it comes to Aries. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? I don't think this person has told you something important just because, I don't know, the King of Swords is reversed with justice. So I think it's almost like for things to be right, for there to be justice, this person would need to come clean. Yeah, the oyster. So they're, they're clammed shut right now. <laughs> they are not able, yeah, and the hyena at the bottom of the deck. So they are not, I don't think they're ready to be truly vulnerable with you. I think they're scared. And I think they're scared because, you know, it's just that, it's that concept of when you think about someone, when you imagine conversations in your head, when you plan for the future in your head, there is very low risk <laughs> because you're not putting yourself out there, you know? It's all in your head. Reality is something very different or something that could be very different. So I feel like this person feels safe keeping all of these thoughts to themselves. But I just have this feeling with this page of swords and this devil with the eight of swords, it's almost like, I don't think they can not think about you. And at some point they're gonna have to either decide they can't deal with the way things are. They, they're gonna have to give up their dreams for reality here. They're gonna have to take a risk, you know, because they, things just cannot stay the way they are. And that's why the chariot is here and the fool right after that. Tell me about this chariot. They would have to take a risk, yeah. Tell me about the chariot, please. Why is the chariot? Why is the chariot here? Six of swords, king of swords, exactly. They're gonna have to come clean. They're gonna have to be honest with you. They're gonna have to open communication with you. I feel like this is just like rising under the surface. Um, and this person is going to have to make a move. If they really want this happy ending with you, they're going to have to do it. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed this bonus reading. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.